Welcome to Weeping Willow Homestead and another What We Eat for Dinner in a Week. In these videos, I show you how I combine inexpensive Aldi groceries with food that we are blessed with from the food pantries to make hopefully well-balanced, well-rounded meals. As a family, we generally eat low-carb because my husband and I do for health reasons, and as the sole cook in the house, it is easier for me to just make one meal than to try to short-order cook it. But you will see variations to that, and I'll explain as we go. Uh, so if you are following along, uh, last week we had a tummy bug run through the house. Um, it hit, like, early, early morning on Wednesday. Um, and it's still not completely gone. I was hoping it was, but I have two guys that had had a little bit of an upset tummy, but nothing major. And was kind of hoping that it was just going to bypass them. Well, no, it hit one of them today. Um, and the three-year-old that was patient zero, if you will, that started it, um, she has had, how do I say this kindly? She was the one that got sick throwing up and now she has the other direction. Um, so mind you, her spirits have been great. She'd been running around playing like it's not bothering her. It's just been multiple trips to the potty today. So, uh, with that in mind, um, I kind of went into this week knowing that I was going to try to pick some of the meals that were maybe not too terribly heavy. Um, I really wanted to steer clear of like raw vegetables, um, and kind of just go easy meals, not too, ter too dairy heavy, you know, kind of stick with lighter on the tummy meals. Um, but that's also an interesting one just on, I would totally do soups all week if it wasn't 80 degrees. So yeah, tonight I did, um, what I had planned on doing was a ham and broccoli and cheese casserole and instead I kind of made it into a one pot meal sorry I'm not filming very well um so there's a little bit of liquid down in the bottom but my thought process was would this would be a little bit easier on tummies than doing like the the casserole where I would add way more cheese so I just browned the ham then tossed or added in maybe a third of a cup of water to get the flavor of the ham off the bottom of the pan. Added the broccoli cut up and it was two big crowns. Put the lid on and let that steam until it was done. And then I added in a little bit of cream cheese, a little bit of sour cream, and like a handful of shredded cheese. So not too terribly heavy on the dairy. Um, most of everybody is back to pretty well eating normally, except for just kind of eating light. Um, except for that one guy who's, yeah, he's been an interesting one all day today. He's just not felt good. So hopefully he is the last one to get it. Uh, I do have one more kiddo that hasn't, never got hit with the, um, throwing up aspect of it. So hopefully he doesn't get hit with it either. Although I, technically I have two kids that never did, but yeah, anyway, too much information. So that is, oh, and with this, I also have garlic bread in the um, toaster oven. Just some of those dinner rolls that I spread butter and sprinkled with garlic powder. Super easy. So, um, yeah. All right. That is dinner for Monday night. We'll see you hopefully feeling better tomorrow. It is Tuesday, and today went considerably better. Uh, my little guy who was... Uh, not feeling well yesterday, uh, was well enough today to eat little bits and um, held everything down. And my little one that uh, was having the other issue, uh, that seems to have cleared up. So that's good. Um, and I felt good enough with the help of the little ones who were feeling good enough to get a big, huge chunk of the garden planted. Um, so that was nice. I look forward to sharing... Um, garden tours with you coming up soon. So tonight we went with something pretty easy, one for me to make because I'm tired, and two uh, that hopefully the little guy whose tummy is still, it's, it, it's getting there, but something that he will be able to eat as well. Um, so I pulled out a package of smoked sausage, just kind of chunked that up and browned it. 
I went ahead and made some homemade mac and cheese because I figured that would be a little easier on tummy than the like the boxed powdered mac and cheese. Um, so this was some of the noodles from the food pantry and I just boiled those until they were done and then added in maybe two ounces of cream cheese, a splash of milk, a handful of shredded cheese, and something else. Oh, and a little bit of butter. Um, and I just drained the pasta, put it back in the pot, and put everything else in there and stirred it until it was all melted. So it's, you know, like delicious stringy cheese. So I will only give my sick guy a little bit of that. So yeah, he's going to be upset about that one. Um, and then I drained, uh, or sorry, opened two cans of peas. They got a little overcooked because that pasta took way longer than I was expecting it to, but that's okay. That's just something else that, um, my sickly little guy can still have. So quick and easy. Um, obviously neither one of those are low carb. Uh, so I am going to probably have a couple pieces of smoked sausage and then we still have some leftovers from last week. Um, I know there's a couple zucchini fritters. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have some green beans, so I will probably just eat some leftovers of vegetable sides with smoked sausage. There's also like a half of a chicken thigh left. So one of those nights when mom just pieces it together and it's fine. So, all right, that is Tuesday night. We'll see you tomorrow. It is Wednesday night and we're continuing with trying to make decently easy on the tummy meals. Um, everybody is generally feeling better. My tummy has been a little bit grumbly today, but I don't know whether it's stomach bug still or just my stomach being the stomach that it is. What What is it that I thought of the other day? Oh, if I was in Victorian times, they would say I have a delicate disposition when it comes to my health. <laughs> And I don't want to. All right. Anyway, tonight we did, I did burgers. This is half of that 24 pack, the party pack. Um, <laughs> when you're a family of, of seven, we are the party. Um, as someone commented tonight, that made me giggle. Uh, so I just did these on the broiler. Um, I would love to do them on the grill, but it just didn't happen tonight. I had my husband pop over to the dollar store and pick up burger buns and sliced cheese and then I did potato salad with the red potatoes from the food pantry the other day, the mobile one. And then I did some potato salad with radishes uh, for my husband and I. He'll probably end up eating that kind, but that's fine. Um, I'll eat this. It is not the same. It doesn't have the same creamy texture that the graininess of the potatoes gives. But flavor-wise, you're tasting the the mustard and the mayo and the relish. So, you know. And then obviously all of the toppings. I also kind of figure I will probably end up getting out some potato chips to go with this. Yeah, potatoes and potato salad. I know. It's one of those nights. So yeah, that is Wednesday night. We'll see you tomorrow. It is Thursday night and uh, tonight I am tired. We, My husband mowed the yard and then I used the lawn sweeper to catch everything. And so me and my 11-year-old uh, did that task. Uh, took turns and then we spread all of that grass on a large chunk of the garden which I am so excited about um, where I'm I'm feeling like the garden is going to be less work this year just on getting a head start on spreading grass and all that so fingers crossed anyway so because of that I'm tired that was not the only thing that I did but you know that as well as laundry and, you know, all the mom stuff. Anyway, so tonight we have a pretty easy one. I made two cans of salmon into salmon patties. So I just added the two cans. I drained them, pulled out the large bones. Um, and then I added one egg and about a quarter of a cup of almond flour, maybe a little bit more, and some seasoned salt. Super simple. And we are a catch up on salmon patties kind of family. I know that's a controversial one. What do you put on your salmon patties? Do you put them on buns? Because I know some people do that. We don't. Um, some people do, do, uh, do tartar sauce. Some people do mayo, sour cream, something like that. What do you put on yours? Because we do ketchup, which I know. I know. <laughs> uh, with that, I have a quart of green beans that I just drained 
warmed up, then drained, and added a little bit of bacon grease to them because bacon grease. And then we have the leftover potato salad, and there's also a little bit of the faux potato salad left over from last night as well. So we're going to get that used up. So a nice, quick, and easy meal. We're going to eat this, and then everybody needs showers. So we'll see you tomorrow. It is Friday night, and Friday night at our house means pizza night. Sometimes that's homemade, sometimes that's store-bought. It's pretty much never takeout because uh, we live too far out for takeout to be delivered. And by the time I would order it, drive into town, pick it up, and drive home, I can make a whole lot of frozen pizzas or even homemade pizzas for a lot less and a lot quicker. So... Uh, tonight I opened up one of the boxes of the gluten-free pizzas that we got from the food pantry and did two of those. So we have a cheese and then a pepperoni and cheese. And then I did, um, one of the bags of the, the crunchy salad that we got from the food pantry. The kit, Mediterranean crunch kit. Um, and then I chopped up a cup, like one of the romaine hearts to get some of it used as well. And because I kind of felt like the, the crunchy salad, I don't know that my kids would have liked it just plain because it didn't really have a whole lot of lettuce to it. Um, I felt like it would probably end up being like overly crunchy and especially with, uh, kiddos tummy's still working on going back to normal after having a tummy bug so um yeah uh I don't know what I'm having for dinner I still don't feel great um so I don't know uh I may end up just having a couple of leftover burgers and calling it good because yeah like I said I'm just I'm not super hungry I don't feel super great um and I'm tired <laughs> Overdid it over the last few days, and now I'm ready to. I've, t I've pretty much done nothing today. Um, so yeah, tonight is also the one night a week that we for sure do dessert. Um, so we have ice cream, we've got some cookies. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna let the kids pick and choose whatever they want. I'm just not feeling it. So that's Friday night. We'll see you tomorrow. It is Saturday night, and Saturday night I usually make a big meal, kind of traditionally what I grew up having after church on Sundays with grandparents. Um, so tonight I went ahead and made those um, steak bites that I was talking about on my last grocery haul. Thank you so much for all of the advice on what meat to use and that I had not messed up and got the right kind. They look good. Um, I am not a big steak fan, so uh, if they are good, I'll post the recipe in the show notes, though. It looks good. Yeah. Um, with that, because, okay, that was only like a pound and a half of meat, and it cooked way down, so I know that's not going to go very far. Plus, you know, I'd rather have chicken. So I just pan-seared um, some of the frozen chicken thighs from Aldi with some Worcestershire or Washer Sister sauce and garlic powder and a little bit of seasoned salt that just sounded good something similar to something my brother-in-law used to make all the time when I was you know first dating his his brother anyway um cheesy cauliflower that got a little overcooked and some garlicky green beans that got a little overcooked because I may have stepped outside to do something and it took longer than I had planned on uh, I also have some salad left over from last night that I'm going to get out and offer because some kids don't like cauliflower, some kids don't like green beans, some kids don't like either, well, one kid doesn't like either, so I figured I would offer three vegetables tonight instead of my usual at least two, so yeah, good enough. If you are new here, this is the end of my week of dinners, uh, so tomorrow when we get home from church, if we go to church tomorrow, um... I will pull out all of the leftovers from this week, which is part of the reason why I make a big meal on Saturdays. And I pull it out and let the kids pick and choose whatever they want. Then we warm up play individual plates and eat it like that. That's a great way to get leftovers used up. And is nice just we get home from church generally late. We're usually not home until 12.30, 1 o'clock, sometimes even later. Because we like to stay in fellowship for a while after church. So, yeah. Then tomorrow night for dinner, I pull out charcuterie board things. Dried cheeses or dried fruits, cheese, um, cured meats, 
nuts, uh, pickles, crackers, goat cheese, anything like that that you would normally put on our charcuterie board. I pull all of that out and I just lay it out, out on the, the counter in their containers. And then once again, I let the kids pick and choose whatever they want. And on that night, I even bust out paper plates. Um, and then if there are any leftovers left is usually what I have for dinner again tomorrow. I will have leftovers for lunch and dinner and that's completely fine with me. Um, so yeah, that is everything. Can't think of anything else. I will post any relevant recipes in the show notes. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye and God bless.